From the Journal of Aphromos Long Journey Pilgrim With notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library Rock Day, 15th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn Morning, 13th day in the trees Someone was in our campsite I have checked through all of my bags And it's puzzling Nothing has been taken or even disturbed. I heard nothing all through the night. Neither Suja nor I have been harmed. Indeed, I would not have known anyone had been here, except that they left behind a book, a string of glass beads, and a rattle. They were piled on a rock by the remains of the fire. There were no tracks in the dirt that I could make out, and they would have had to walk very close to me to leave them there. It is very puzzling. The beads are in alternating bands of red, blue, yellow, and orange. There are thirty-six beads in total, and the string is just long enough to wrap around my wrist. The rattle is made of a yellow clay though I am not sure what is inside it. It is painted in pattern of green lines. Two brown feathers are tied to it by a leather thong. What its purpose might be, I cannot guess. The book is old and worn. I had hoped it might give some clue to our guest, but its contents were mostly impossible to read. Some lines are legible but never enough to give more than a brief glimpse in the narrative. It appears that a wombat features heavily, whatever that may be. Other phrases I could read include The stone egg swallowed by the frog, baking in fear, and remember tunnel 17. By far the longest legible entry is a piece of doggerel, Hearken to the shed illegible, born of strange and darkling light, in the midst of forests wild, see the beasts, beware their fright. Note, wombats are mythical creatures, full of allegorical import, Telnion sensible, based on the descriptions of the ancient scholar Heron the Elder, believes they were actually dwarves, seen at a great distance while drunk. There is also a picture that appears to be of two mice carrying something away from a dragon. I cannot glean anything from the book as yet. I will look at it further in the evening. I cannot help but worry, though, if one creature, however benign, made it into our campsite without my knowing. What else might find its way in?